Today, we'll be looking at the YouTube iceberg. As you guys know, icebergs at the top are seemingly small until you get underwater and you realize that they're much bigger under the surface. The further you go, the darker it gets until you reach the bottom and it's pitch black. The concept still applies to this YouTube iceberg. We'll be going over unexplainable things that have occurred here on YouTube's platform. Today, we'll be starting at the very top of the iceberg barely even touching it, but as the series goes on, we'll be going further and further under this iceberg. As we go deeper in this series and further and further down in this iceberg, you'll start to notice that things become more and more mysterious, creepy, and just unexplainable. Not to say that the very top of this iceberg isn't scary at all, it's still frightening, but the frightening part is it just keeps getting worse and worse as you go down. Today we'll be looking at a topic that you'd probably assume wouldn't belong on a list like this, and that is nursery rhymes. Nursery rhyme channels are basically everywhere here on YouTube. The animations of these channels are just creepy, the characters appear to be completely lifeless, and it's just frightening. It doesn't help that half the nursery rhymes that are out there are based on very traumatic events. Just as one example, Ring Around the Rosie was based off of the Black Plague that swept across Europe. There are so many nursery rhymes that have dark uprisings, but we literally can't cover them all in this video. So for now, we'll concentrate on the few we have here. This is the first nursery rhyme that I'm going to talk about. Watching this video just makes me feel uneasy. The animations are terrifying. The sounds are terrifying. Bear. It just doesn't seem right. And this is what kids are watching. This is what kids are growing up and watching and just mindlessly consuming all day as parents just hand them the tablet. This is what they see. This video is supposed to help kids learn fruits and animals. It also has almost 1 billion views and it's just some creepy monkey running around breaking through walls. This is Ring Around the Rosie by Nursery Rhymes. As you watch this video, the characters just appear to be completely lifeless and just seem like a corpse. The animation style is just terrifying and haunting. The way I would describe this is basically just like a fever dream that I would have when I'm a kid, but this is what kids watch now. The part that creeps me out the most is how lifeless these characters seem singing Ring Around the Rosie, which was based off of a plague, even worse than the current pandemic. Like I was saying earlier, Ring Around the Rosie was based off of a deadly disease but these kids and animals are just kind of standing there, staring at the camera with smiles. Looking at this picture makes me feel very uneasy. It just feels like they're all staring at me, and no matter where I move in my room, they're staring at me. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa. This was all based off of a meme on the Nursery Rhyme channel. It was a very creepy animation where the baby is just eating sugar and gets caught by Grandpa. This animation was based off of Nursery Rhymes, but this one's definitely different. It's terrifying and creepy, and just watch a little. The poor animation honestly just makes this terrifying. Everything from the animation to the sounds just doesn't seem right. The characters don't walk like normal characters, the way they move doesn't seem right, and it's actually oddly violent. And this is an animation that was based off of a kid's channel. This is something you definitely don't want a kid stumbling across. After watching the Nursery Rhymes video, what if they came across something like this? Do you know how freaky that would be to a child? Because this in itself scares me. The real question is, why does this person do this? Why did he create this? What is the purpose behind this terrifying, bone-chilling video? Something just doesn't seem right. I think what's weird about these nursery rhyme channels is that most adults always find this creepy. When adults see these videos, they notice that something is not right, but can never come to the conclusion of what that is. I'm not too sure who created that clip, if it was the actual Nursery Rhyme channel or just some random person, but that pretty well describes how I feel that these Nursery Rhyme channel videos are created. In the deep darkness and alone. It's pretty unsettling that these are videos that are for kids, but terrify adults. This is just one part of the YouTube iceberg, and if you find this creepy, just wait. We have yet to even scratch the surface of this iceberg, 
and trust me, the deeper we go, the more unsettling things will become. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys slap a like down below. If you're still watching, make sure you guys consider subscribing because I have a lot more videos like this coming. Trust me. Thank you.